Good morning, children. Welcome to my class. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Isn't it? Yes, very good. So let's begin our today's class. Can you all stand up, children? Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Again, one more time. Put your hands up. Hands down. Come on, wave your hands. Yes, wave your hands. Very good, children. Come on, turn around. Turn around. One more time. Very good. Give a big clap. Very good, children. Now, all sit down. Children, today, you know, we are going to learn a new letter. You want to learn a new letter today? Yes, very good. I'm so excited. Okay, children, so let's begin. Children, I'm going to ask you, can you guess this picture? Very good. Yes, this is bus. So bus starts with which letter, children? B. So children, look here. This is capital B. This is capital B. And this is small b, baby b. But in today's class, we are going to learn capital B. And you know, children, capital letter starts from red line to blue line. Remember, children, <coughs> capital letters starts from the red line to the blue line. Okay, children. So, this is letter B. Standing line. Again, put your finger on the top. And do a rightward curve. Curve. And again one more curve. Okay children. So this is letter B. You know children. What is the phonic sound of letter B? Tell me. Tell me children. Come on. Okay. I will tell you. B says B. B says B. B. B, bell. What picture is this, children? This is bell. Okay? And the phonic sound is B. B, B, bell. You know, children, this bell, <coughs> can you hear this bell? Where? In school, the bell is ringing, no, children? Yes? Very good. So, this is bell. We can hear the sound of the bell. B, B. Bell. Now look at this picture. What picture is this, children? This is a bird. Have you all seen a bird? Yes. Where do they fly? In the air, in the sky. Okay, so birds are flying in the sky. Tell me what is this? This is balloons. I love to play with balloons, children. Do you all love to play with balloons? Yes? Very good. Okay? So, these are balloons. And what is the phonic sound? B. B, B, balloon. B, B, balloon. B for ball. B for ball. B, B, Ball. Children, what do we do with the ball? Yes, we play with the ball. Okay, children. So, this is ball. See, the ball looks beautiful. Isn't it? Yes. So, we all love to play with the ball. Okay, children. Look at this ball. Have different colors. Do you all have a ball at home? Yes. Very good. Now, look at this one. What is this? Wow, it's a butterfly. It looks so beautiful. No, children? It has different colors. Have you all seen a butterfly? Yes? Where? In the 
garden. Yes, children? Yes, so this is a butterfly. Okay? B for butterfly. B, B, butterfly. So, children, can you tell me what is the phonic sound of letter B? B. 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 Now, children, I'm going to show you objects. <clears throat> what is this, children? Banana, right. What is the color of banana? Yellow. Very good, children. So you all know the colors. Very good. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Vegetable? Fruit. Very good, children. This is a fruit. And banana is yellow in color. And what is the phonic sound? Can anybody tell me? Yes, right. B. B, B, banana. Very good, children. What is this? This is a bell. Can you hear the ringing of the bell? Yes? Very good. So, B, B, bell. What is this, children? Yes, tell me. Ball, right. This is a ball. What do we do with the ball? Very good. Good answer. Excellent. We play with the ball. We like to play with the ball. Very good, children. Now tell me what is this? Bus. Very good. This is a bus. We travel from place to place. Right, children? Yes. Did you all travel by bus? Good. Where did you travel? India. Oh, very good. So you have traveled by bus in India. Very good, children. Very good. Now look at it. What is this? Butterfly. Bubba. Butterfly. Very good, children. Now tell me what is this? Bag. Right. This is a bag. B, B, bag. Have you all seen this bag before? Do you all have a bag at home? Yes. B, B, bag. This is book. You know, children, this is book. What do we do with the book? We write on the book. Baba book. So now, let's sing, children, with the phonic sound. B for bag. B, B, bag. B for bag. B, B, bag. B for bell, b, b, bell. B for bell, b, b, bell. B for banana, b, b, banana. B for banana, b, b, banana. B for bus, b, b, bus. B for bus, b, b, bus. B for ball. B, B, ball. B for ball. B, B, ball. B for book. B, B, book. B for book. B, B, book. B for butterfly. B, B, butterfly. B for butterfly. B, B, butterfly so children now i'm going to teach you how to write letter b all of you please look at the board come on children look at the board okay children you have to hold your pencil on the red line the first red line okay children and then 
make a standing line by coming down and touching the second blue line okay children now let's begin standing line again go up children on the first red line hold your pencil and come down by making a rightward curve and then again one more curve so this is letter b children letter b one more time standing line again keep your pencil on the first line children and draw a curve rightward curve again make a curve so this is letter b this is the formation of letter b how to write letter b okay children so this is letter b please practice at home okay children please practice this letter b at home okay children children we learned how to write letter b now children i'm going to teach you how to draw a bird with letter b so let's do the activity children come on all of you look at me take up paper and a pencil come on take all of you open your book yes open your book children and draw with me come on make a standing line first a big standing line okay children now come on do a curve a big curve very good so what letter is this this is letter b now children we'll do eyes come on yes okay so this is the eye now what we are going to do the mouth the beak of the bird okay slanting line and one more slanting line okay children now we have to do the feathers the tail for the bird come on go down and go up like this okay so these are the feathers of the bird okay children again one more time make a standing line and do a curve again so these are the wings of the bird these are the wings of the bird okay now let's do the legs come on again make a slipping line and slanting line slipping line and slanting line okay children so these are the legs of the bird did you all enjoy this activity children yes very good so practice at home children how to draw a bird with letter b children this is the letter formation of b come on kids it's story time goldilocks and the three bears so children all of you be attentive and enjoy the story with me okay once upon a time there lived three bears one morning mummy bear prepared some yummy porridge since it was very hot daddy bear said let's go for a walk when we will come back the porridge will be just ready to eat so they went for a walk in the forest that time a pretty girl called goldilocks went for a walk after walking a while she understood that she lost her way to home she felt very hungry suddenly she saw the three bears house she opened the door and looked in slowly she entered the house she saw the porridge on the table 
she almost ate it all. Then she played on the chairs and tables. Finally, she got tired. She saw three beds, but she loved the small bed and she slept on it. When the three bears returned from their walk, they saw the front door was open. They said, somebody entered a house. Baby bear saw that the porridge was half eaten and his chair was broken. So he began to cry. But they were surprised while they entered the bedroom. They saw a little girl sleeping on baby bear's bed. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, help, help, and she jumped out from the bed and ran away from the house. Moral, do not enter in an unknown house. Children, did you all understand the story? Yes? Okay. Now tell me who was in the story? Yes, there was a girl. And <clears throat> what was the girl's name? Goldilocks. Very good children. And how many bears were there in the story? Who can tell me? Very good. Very nice. Yes, there were three bears. And what happened? Who was hungry in the story? The girl? Yes, the girl was hungry. And what happened? What did she do? She ate the porridge. Very good. She ate the porridge. And then later, what did she do? Yes, she started playing in the room. She saw the beautiful beds and chairs. So she was jumping here and there. So she liked the small bed. Which bed did she like, children? Small bed because she was a small girl. So what did she do? Did she sleep or did she stay on the bed? Very good. So you all are very interested in stories. Huh? I can see that. Yes, she was sleeping. And then what happened children when she was sleeping on the bed? Right. The three bears came back home. Who was there? Papa bear, mama bear and the baby bear. Very good children. So when they entered the house, what did they see? The door was open. Yes. And the porridge was eaten, half eaten and the spoons were thrown here and there. Yes. Okay. So they were very upset and they said that somebody came in a house. And what happened, children? When they entered in the other room, what did they see? A small girl sleeping on the bed. Yes. Then what happened? Goldilocks got up from the bed and she saw these three bears standing in front, standing in front of her. She got frightened and she screamed loudly, help, help. And she jumped out of the bed and she ran away to her house. So what is the moral, children? Do not enter in an unknown house. You should not enter in anybody's house or in anybody's room, children. Okay? I hope you all enjoyed the story. Right, children? Very good. Thank you for listening. Children, are you all feeling bored? Now, let's do some worksheets. In the first exercise, let's do color the balloons. You have to color the balloons, children, in the first exercise. Now, look at the second exercise. Color the pictures that starts with letter B.
Now children, I'm going to sing a rhyme for you, okay? So listen and you all have to practice this rhyme children, okay? Have you all heard bits of paper? Yes? Very good. So now let's start children. Bits of paper, bits of paper, lying on the floor, lying on the floor. Makes the place untidy, makes the place untidy. Pick them up, pick them up. Bits of paper, bits of paper, lying on the floor, lying on the floor. Makes the place untidy, makes the place untidy. Pick them up, pick them up. So remember children, don't dirty your place, okay? And wherever you see the rubbish, please see that you pick it up and put it in the dustbin. Thank you children. I hope you all enjoyed today's class. Bye for now and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.